Um, so I'm a Christian. My my brother's agnostic and he's gay, and so we've had a lot of apologetics conversations. Mm -hmm. And there's just a couple that I have a hard time answering. Um, one of them, we talk about the Council of Nicaea. Mm -hmm. um, so what about that council? It's hard to... Um, this group of men getting together to decide what's going to be in our Bible today. See, but that, that's not what happened. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I want to hear about, more about it. Okay, um, the point is, is that the New Testament documents were recognized very early by the early church fathers mm -hmm. by, say, 108 A.D. In fact, it's between 106 and 110. It's in the book. But basically, early church fathers like Ignatius and others mm -hmm. recognized... 25 out of the 27 books we call the New Testament canon that early. Okay. The, the, the councils that came much later came much later largely because you couldn't have councils where, while Christianity was on the run. You know, Christianity was persecuted a good portion of the first three centuries. It wasn't until Constantine made Christianity tolerable in about 311 AD that Christians could freely associate and do these kind of things from all over the, the Roman Empire and come together and, and hash some things out. But no, the Bible wasn't written in, in by the Council of Nicaea, nor did the Bible uh, come together in a canon in the Council of Nicaea. The canon had been recognized generally by early church fathers much before that. There were later um, councils that, that did say, well, this is definitely the canon, mm -hmm. but that had already been recognized earlier anyway. So what was the purpose of the council then? Well, uh, people come together to argue over different things, and there were, there, were, there were councils over the deity of Christ, who had the right view of the deity of Christ. That was one council. I'm not an expert on these church history issues, but I know that was one of the things they argued over. Uh, they, you know, they had, we, we, we still get together and argue over stuff, right? Yes. Theology is a big topic, so we still, like, next month I'm going to Denver to, to go to the Evangelical Theological and Philosophical Society, where mm -hmm. people will give papers and talk about these things. I mean, people have been doing that forever. Uh, so I, I don't see any problem with people doing that. Uh, but because it seems to me that what's underneath the question, maybe from your brother, is that, well, these things can't be trusted because they were decided very late. Well, that's not the case. They may have been talked about very late, but they were also talked about much earlier as well. Mm -hmm. And the evidence shows that these are early documents written by eyewitnesses or people who knew eyewitnesses. And when you look at all those E's I had up there before, I think it's a very strong case that what the New Testament says about Jesus is really true. And if that's really true, then Christianity is true.